Another unfortunate weekend on the nation's streets with a series of crashes and mishaps that landed a number of individuals at hospital nursing various injuries. While some would make it out alive, unfortunately two road users would perish. The second tragic field weekend in a row began with a disturbing hit and run in Castry City on Friday night near the Vendors Arcade around 8.30. Two young adults are at hospital afflicted with serious complications after a driver ran them over and never looked back. Mishama Francis is the sister of one of the victims, 18-year-old Mishak Francis. We're very upset. We're happy that they're not dead, but we're very upset because the person never stopped. They never, you know, even slow down, look back, nothing of that sort. Right now, my brother has a concussion. We're waiting for the results of the um, X-ray and the CT scan to know if he has any more broken bones or anything wrong with his head. But as far as we know, he has a concussion right now. And he's complaining about a lot of pain in his neck, so we're trying to figure out if it's fractured or broken because he cannot move the neck. The other victim of the hit and run, 21-year-old Valdin Belrose, is now fighting for a life in the intensive care unit at the OKEU hospital. And the girl is in critical condition because her pelvic bone was shattered. And all her vitals are very low. She needs blood right now. So she's still in the ICU, whereas my brother is in a ward. Okay. Are, we, were they, are they friends? Yeah, they are friends. They were actually crossing the road together to go and meet another friend. The morbid weekend of hapless occurrences was then punctuated with a Saturday afternoon murder as 25-year-old Denzel Edmund of Lastic Hill Castries lay in a Bapata drain shot dead. According to Station Officer Fernando James, first responders would then be called out to the Bonte Gap on the following Sunday night where a man later identified as Kenny Babaroots Seely of Castries was sprawled out dead on the roadside pavement. The motor scooter driver had apparently collided with the pickup. On December 19th, Sunday 2021, at Rodney Heights, another motor vehicle collision occurred at 6.25 p.m involving three vehicles where one male victim, approximately 30 years old, was found unconscious on scene. Emergency crews again from the Grosgrave Fire Station, both rescue and EMS, arrive on scene to find a mangled scooter in the center of the road and the rider propelled way across onto the shoulder of the road. This person was found unresponsive with severe injuries to his lower extremities and his torso and also blood from his head. Another horrible scene, this time at Grand Riviere, on the very same Sunday night where evening time cyclist Brian Gustav was found pinned between a wall and a Toyota Paso. It was there he would take his last breath of life. At Grand Riviere Grocery, another motor vehicle collision occurred at about 12 minutes after 8 p.m., whereby a motor vehicle collided with a cyclist. This victim was trapped between the car and a concrete pillar. Upon arrival by emergency crews from the Grosley Fire Station, both rescue and EMS, this single patient was found with no vitals. Law enforcement already on scene from Grosley Police Station are conducting investigations, and this person, a victim, was pronounced dead by a physician. Meanwhile, emergency officials also responded to two separate vehicular crashes involving scooters. A cyclist was whisked away to hospital on Saturday around 11.34 a.m. after a collision between a scooter and a truck. The other motor scooter incident occurred on Sunday in the community of La Clary. The timing of these unfortunate incidents is not lost on emergency first responders who expressed condolences to the grieving families ahead of the festive season. The Zingusha Fire Service extends condolences to the family members and friends of those persons who have lost their lives in motor vehicle collisions and crashes during this past weekend between December 17th and December 20th, 2021. We urge all motorists and visitors and locals alike to pay careful attention on our roadways and our byways and take all necessary precautions to drive safely and also to stay safe, especially during this festive season. The authorities have been exhorting road users to avoid speeding, 
observe the traffic laws and traverse the roadways with utmost care and attention. However, these words of advice have gone unheeded with a crescendo of calls for tougher enforcement as some of these incidents transpired way past the pandemic curfew. Joachim Duplessis, HTS News Force.